Hi guys, so I'm going to be presenting the bony landmarks. We're still at the uh, trail guide of the body, uh, page 111. And we're, we're, I'm going to be uh, featuring still the anterior palmar view of the right forearm and hand. And in the previous image, as, uh, as we know, it didn't contain the lateral supracondylar ridge. I wanted to show you that and also the medial su supracondylar ridge. Okay, so you, you see this is the medial epicondyle and this is the medial condyle. Okay, so these three actually is all in the medial side. But keep in mind, medial epicondyle, epi, right? And this is condyle and this is supracondyle, medial. They're all medial in the same manner here. Supracondyle, condyle, and epicondyle. Okay? So we have here the radial fossa, okay, and we have the coronoid fossa, okay. You, um, if you notice, there's no ulnar fossa, or, um, but instead it's coronoid fossa, a cap capitulum, and a trochea. So just keep in mind that this is MCT, coronoid fossa and trochea. We're here for the lateral is RC, okay. This is the radius ulna. I have um, already mentioned um, different um, areas of the bones, bony landmarks. Here, the metacarpals. We all know this is when we're speaking of uh, referring to metacarpals. This is the base. This is the shaft, and this is the head. Okay, so the head is similar to where the ulna's head, right? Is here. The um, it's a uh, distal. Okay, the base is on, on the proximal, and this is the shaft. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, feature now the prox, the uh, sorry, the posterior, the dorsal view of the right forearm and hand. Okay, um, I'm gonna be again um, going briefly. Here is is the lateral sup uh, supracondylar ridge. Okay. Um, the same, uh, oh sorry, this one because this is the posterior view. That's, that is that in posterior view, medial supracondylar ridge, medial epicondyle, and we have the olecranon fossa, right? That's the deep. And we have the olecranon fossa, which is we can feel. This is the lateral epicondyle, medial epicondyle, groove for the ulnal nerve. Okay, there's that ulnal, ulnal nerve um, that. Uh, will be sitting on that group. Okay, the shaft of the ulna, shaft of the radius, and we also have here um, the different phalanges, whereas the base, the shaft, and the head. Okay, so now we're going to go here in this image here, 3.9. Um, it's indicating the eight carpals, okay, posterior dorsal view of the right wrist. I'm going to be doing some mnemonics for the, for the carpals. Okay, because I couldn't find the ones I did a video. I must have deleted it. So we have here the trapezium. I'm going to start. Okay, and then the scapoid, the lunate, the cretum, and the pisiform. And we have the hamate, we have the capitate, and we have the trapezoid. And again, going back to trapezium. So T to T is how I usually do it. T to T, T as L, T, you know, I'll do that demonic later on. Okay. So I'm going to go and quickly um, also feature here um, the ulna. Okay. Just going to be now using this. We'll see. Um, um, hopefully you can see it. So, just, okay, so here the ulna and radius, this is the olecranon process on the posterior surface. This is the tracheal notch. The coronoid process is right there. We have the radial notch of ulna. We have the ulnar tuberosity here. And the supernator uh, crest. Okay, and this ulna and radius, we have the head of the radius. And we have the neck of the radius and the radial tuberosity. Okay, stylar process of the radius and stylar process of the ulna. 
Okay, again, this is the anterior view of the right radius and ulna, whereas this is the posterior view of the right radius and ulna. Okay, so we have the orbicular process on this side this time. We have the head of the radius, the neck of the radius here, ulna. We have the shaft of the ulna. And we have the radius here, shaft of the radius. And keep in mind that we, on the radius side, we have the uh, LT, Lister's tubercle. We have the styloid process of the radius. We have the head of the ulna. And we have the styloid process of the ulna.